Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing the HD 4650 from 2008 in 2021. Now, this GPU doesn't really support DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 or Vulkan, you know, so um, we can't really test many of the newer titles. We're stuck to DX10 and DX9 games, basically. So don't expect me to run Warzone with it. Not that it would actually be playable anyways if it launched. But that doesn't mean that we can't have fun with a 13-year-old GPU. You know, you can always play older games, even though it's 2021. There are still plenty of old and amazing titles for you to play on a thing like this. Talking a little bit about the 4650, this is a 512 megabyte GPU. It uses DDR2 memory. There were also versions with GDDR3, by the way, but... Well, you know me, I always go for the cheaper stuff, so... Now, probably the most interesting thing about this GPU was its release price at $69. Nice. <laughs> But yeah, I've seen online that these retailed for around like 50 to 75 bucks, depending on the VRAM configuration and stuff. Also, guys, did you notice the holographic sticker right there? Yeah, it's gonna give us some extra FPS. Let's put it to the test here in 2021, shall we? And here we go, everybody. We're now in the desktop ATI Radeon HD 4600 series showing up there in MSI Afterburner. You can check out all of its specs right here in Tech Power Up's GPU Z, uh, including the 512 megabytes of VRAM DDR2, the driver date, which uh, it's actually not too bad, you know, eight years of support. It's not like the 6950 that we took a look at like a month ago or so. That only had five years of support. And finally, we are running it with a Ryzen 9 5900. X and 32 gigabytes of RAM and it's completely overkill and crazy to pair with a GPU like this but we're just testing the GPU so it doesn't really matter as long as we don't bottleneck it. So let's get into the first game and first up we got Battlefield Bad Company 2 legendary game still a lot of fun to play these days we're playing it at 720p resolution using low settings and DirectX 9 API. Okay guys so we gotta test it in the campaign because uh, it keeps disconnecting me in multiplayer. I'm gonna start counting our frames. Some things look pretty bad. Look at that. Oh boy, reminds me of Rust, actually. We're also gonna test that. Look at that. It, it's actually playable. There are a few frame time spikes that are lowering our 1% lows there, but, you know, you could play like this. The GPU was already two years old when this game came out. Yeah, if I had this GPU back in 2010, I would actually play this game on PC because um, I had a G103M laptop and it's, it sucked, you know? Uh, this is not a perfect experience by any means, but I think for somebody that's not really used to high-end PCs and stuff, the FOV is so low, by the way, um, it's an alright experience, you know? I just want to see a couple of explosions as well, because I think those are demanding. No, 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 get back there, get back there! Alright, I'm fine. All right. Oh, boy! I died with an explosion. Of course, it happens in Battlefield, guys. Okay, so, oh, if you get inside of the smoke of the explosions, it drops by quite a bit. Oh, it's bad now, yep, it's pretty bad now. So I actually expected better in Bad Company 2. And let's actually try Battlefield 3. I also spent a lot of time playing this one back in the days. 480p resolution at low settings. And uh, I think it's actually kind of more playable than Bad Company 2 because it doesn't stutter. Look at that. It's actually getting playable and consistent FPS, unlike Bad Company 2 for some reason. The 1% lows on that were absolutely awful and... We haven't really seen an explosion yet, but so far, so good. Oh gosh, it's it's actually kind of hard to control this <laughs> now that I'm used to 60 frames per second. But I actually used to play this one. Ah, gosh. Okay, okay. At around 30 or 40 something FPS. So this isn't really new for me. As long as it doesn't drop from 30, I am okay with the experience. Oh, a couple of them. Oh, you no! Know, give me, give me the double. Thank you very much. All right, another one down. Here we go. Let's revive our boy. Bam! All right, 
You know what? I'm actually getting used to it right now. Oh, the lens flares. <laughs> the totally ridiculous lens flares in this game. I forgot about that. <laughs> okay. Okay. We got this, guys. It's, it's still very hard to spot people, but it's possible to do so. And it's possible to play like this. Now, I would actually try to find something better if you really want to play Battlefield 3, but uh, I guess I could actually have fun with it if I didn't really mind going blind by an early age. But okay. <laughs> okay, so we're playing a broken game now. This is CSGO at 640x480 using the lowest settings. Okay, and I say it's broken because this game used to run really well in old GPUs, but not anymore. Right now, it stutters like hell in old graphics cars like this one, and that's why our 1% lows are gonna be very low there. And I'm also running this in windowed mode instead of full screen because my capture card can't really uh, record it in full screen for some reason. It's the only game where it has problems, so I, I don't really like this one. <laughs> but you know what? It's actually playable. It's I expected it to be a very bad experience because it's such an old card, but actually it's pretty all right. Okay. Oh, I can't do flick shots in windowed mode. It's oh, so annoying, the input lag that you get. Have they actually improved something? What the hell are you doing? Can't I can't do the flicks. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I almost died there. Jesus! Okay, there's another one there. Well, it's not a competitive experience, but it's far better than what I was expecting. If you have a Core 2 Duo, for example, yeah, that, that's not... That's not gonna go well. But if you're using something like uh, a third gen, even second gen i5, I think these FPS should be possible to achieve with a configuration like that. So, overall, I am impressed here in CSGO wasn't expecting this and it's quite playable and let's play a 2007 game this is team fortress 2 of course it has been updated as well and it runs worse now than it did back in 2007 but we're playing it at 1080p resolution uh, using these settings all right guys so the reason i chose 1080p in this one instead of 720 was because we were getting like 100 plus fps at 720p uh, but now we're dropping from 60 but it seems like it's still playable, you know? Especially when there aren't really many characters in the screen. Oh, 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 this is bad. Okay, I need medic, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, I can't really... Oh, my gosh, my aim in this game. <laughs> All right, it's been a while, guys, since I've played Team Fortress 2. So, oh, don't expect good gameplay coming from me. But it's playable. It seems like it is playable. Okay, okay, let's go. It's not like the best experience ever, obviously. It drops into the 30s if you get really close to like a pyro, for example. Um, but it's it's all right, it's all right. I would actually choose to play this at 720p instead uh, to achieve 60 plus at all times. All right, you know what? I decided to play at 720p for a bit as well. So 720p still using the same settings. And uh, <laughs> it's completely crazy right now. <laughs> oh, I'm on fire. No, no, no. The HP was right there. Yeah, these are completely ridiculous frames that we're getting right now. <laughs> I totally did not expect this. Still drops from 100, by the way. Please, medic. Oh, come on. Whenever you go invisible, it used to be very demanding. I remember that, but it's it's not really very demanding for this. Okay. Yeah, the, the 4650 is a very capable card if you want to play games like Team Fortress 2, older titles. You know, it's going to run really well. All right, guys, time for GTA 5. We're playing it in DirectX 10 using 800 by 600 resolution and the lowest settings without shadows. I went into the config files to disable those. Uh, over on the advanced settings, everything's turned off. And the game actually tells us that we have 16 gigabytes of VRAM, which is kind of uh, interesting and weird. And look at that, guys. 30-something FPS. It's... It's actually playable, you know, especially if you're 
uh, coming from something like a GeForce 210 or a G100 or like an 8400 GS, this is a dream come true. <laughs> it's a little bit stuttery as well, just because we are running out of VRAM at this point and it's starting utilizing RAM. In this case, the RAM that we're using might actually be faster than the VRAM. You know what? I think we never visited Jack at night or at uh, sunset. It's actually quite beautiful right now. Let's do that, guys. Let's do that. And we actually have a friend this time around. <laughs> I think this is playable, guys, considering that this uh, was already seven years old when this game came out on PC. It is not a bad experience. You know, even if it drops into the 20s, it's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> Look at that, dropping into the 20s here, and still in the 30s at times, hello Rick, how's it going? And, oh, we're almost there, we're almost there, 35. This is usually the most intensive area, but uh, clearly not for this GPU. Hello Jack, how's it going, my friend? It's almost night time, are you going to your house? Or are you just running away from me, as usual? I thank you for answering, but I don't speak Jackish. It can play GTA 5 at 30 FPS on average. Okay, so up next I had Rust, but um, it doesn't seem to work very well. Even if it did launch, I don't imagine it would be a good experience, but this is the experience here. Uh, yeah, we, we got a black screen and then my mouse is at like 0 FPS or 0 0.1 frames per second. I stopped moving already and it's still going. And then it crashes. It doesn't really like our 4650. Let's get to the next one. All right, guys, we're playing Left 4 Dead 2, which is a 2009 game. We're playing at 720p resolution. You can barely tell. Um, but yeah, uh, medium settings as well. Let's go. Start counting our frames here. And look at that. It's actually quite playable. Oh, boomer. All right, and the charge. Oh, no, that's a tank. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, I guess we're good, though. Oh boy, no, 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 I'm stuck. Uh, let's go. Nice, we got him. Okay. All right, there we go. Beautiful. This is amazing performance as well. Back when this game came out, I was playing it with like 30 or 20 FPS. Again, with that G103M laptop. Look at those 1% lows, by the way. Beautiful stuff here, guys. I also want to see like a Molotov or something because that's usually intensive in this game. All right, Mollies, please. Uh, pipe bomb. Well, that kind of works as well, I guess. Let's see. Explosion, please. See the explosion. Seriously, only one zombie in the goddamn pipe bomb. But uh, yeah, it was enough for us to see that it doesn't drop from 60 frames. You can actually have hours and hours of fun with uh, this game and it runs flawlessly at 720p medium settings oh yeah boy okay yeah this is this is great this is just great performance lots of things happening here still handling it like a champ guys All right, this is Skyrim now at 720p medium settings are now applied. Again, I just disabled the anti-aliasing inside of the city area. It's getting so close to 30, guys. Oh boy. Okay. So if you want to play Skyrim, I guess 30 FPS is not that bad since it's a single player title. But it will drop from 30, especially in like fights. Get to like a forest area right there and see. Oh, it's dropping already. Well, if you want more FPS, you could always play this on low. So uh, I think this is all right. It does an all right job in Skyrim. And I, I just I just expected a little bit better again. But yeah, 2008 card Skyrim is from 2011. Oh, oh no. Zero percent CPU usage right there, guys. Ooh. Yeah, it drops by quite a bit here. Look at that. Pretty bad. But again, you can play this on low. Time for Far Cry 3. We're playing at 800 by 600 using the DirectX 9 API and the low settings, of course. Well, this isn't too bad, maybe. Once we get outside, uh, 30s. Yeah, you know what? Considering that this game is from 2012 and it was quite demanding back then, uh, it also looked beautiful for a 2012 game. 
I guess this is pretty decent coming from the 4650. Shut up, Dennis. Shut up, Dennis. I am trying to speak here. Thank you so much. Okay, it's gone. Doesn't seem like it's dropping from 30, you know? Not even from 40 at times. Uh, we saw like 30 something in the village though. I could happily play this game like this. It has some frame time issues there. You can see some spikes, but eh, you know, for such an old GPU, again, it's a playable experience. Oh my gosh, it's getting worse for some reason. I don't know, VRAM is not even maxed out. I think the game is just that intensive. Oh, oh, that's a friendly car actually. Okay. Well, you don't need the car anyways, right? <laughs> Uh, grenade, let's see. I want to explode the car. Let's go. There it is. Explosion. It, it could be worse. It could be worse, but it's, it's not good. <laughs> it's very stuttery. Dota 2, we're playing at 720p resolution using low settings with 75% render scaling. And, uh, as you can see, guys, it's, it's all right. It drops the frames by quite a bit. We got a team fight right here. As you can see, it drops from 30, which is not very good. I still think it's playable, you know, but it's, uh, it's far from the best experience. I wouldn't really lower the resolution further than this because it already looks very pixelated. And I think I will just get used to drops into the 30s and 20s at times. It's, it's all right. You know, I've seen worse experiences in Dota 2, and I have a couple of friends that play this game at around 30 FPS anyways, and they're better than me at it, so there's that. You can actually play well with 40 FPS on average or whatever. It's just not going to be a very competitive experience, but uh, at least it's not a first-person shooter. And also the mouse, the mouse runs like it's at 60 frames per second. 80 FPS there, 90s even up to 100 probably at times okay so we're playing minecraft now i finally included this one and this is the java version as well uh, i am playing with optifine and the texture pack installed the texture pack is this one it doesn't really affect your fps i tested it by the way playing at 1080p resolution that's the desktop resolution right now using these settings and these settings and these settings i there are tons of settings, of course shaders are disabled, and this is it! Look at that beautiful sunset, guys! Amazing, right? Uh, it's actually looking okay, especially because it's at 1080p, you know? You don't really lose that sharpness, and it's around 60 FPS, which is also pretty good! Look at that, it's actually dropping into the 40s up here, which, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit intensive, as you can see, but... Uh, I guess this GPU is actually doing a pretty decent job. I'm having ping in Minecraft. So that's my house right there. This was Digimon's house before she burnt it because she was trying to put lava there to make like a, bar a garbage bin, but then it catched fire and this is the result. We actually made a huge hole right here without her even knowing just because, well, I have no idea to mess around with her, I guess. Ah, frame times are so bad at times. Oh boy. Maybe it's like the render distance or the chunks or whatever. Yeah, this is it, guys. Look at this. Holy crap. We got a crowd. <laughs> we got the arena right there. So yeah, I think you can actually have fun in Minecraft. If you want more frames, drop the resolution down to 720p. It should be way better, of course. But can it run Crisis? Let's find out. We're playing at 720p resolution using low settings. Oh, oh, I totally forgot about that bug in the 50... Yeah, it also happened with... Oh my god, the 5770. Uh, the HD 5770 also from... ATI or AMD or whatever. Um, yeah, the FPS are good, but uh, <laughs> the game is kind of broken in this GPU. It's probably the drivers or whatever, I don't know. Well, I guess if it wasn't for that, it would actually be a playable experience here in Crisis, which is impressive. You know, this was a very hard to run game back in 2007 and 2008. There we go. I am fat and heavy right now. Let's do this! I don't fear anything! Come on! Oh, finally! Come on! <laughs> Wait, that, was that it? No, okay, okay, finally. Didn't drop from 30 there. It's, um, 
it's it's horrible actually. <laughs> the FPS are fine, but it's horrible. So um, should you buy an HD forty six fifty in twenty twenty one? Of course not! I actually expected a lot of the games that we tested today to be playable on this and they actually were a very rough experience because of the stuttering issues. And you know what, even at five bucks I wouldn't recommend it because last time that I checked I could find the HD 3850 at five bucks and that performed better than this. It's also an older GPU but it was a higher end one. And I have also tested that in the channel so go check it out if you haven't already and if you're interested in a very cheap GPU. And that's been it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed the video, of course. And I'll catch you in the next one very soon. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.